Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and today is a series of videos on common problems and tips on how to try to fix them if you got these problems. Now we're going to talk about what about if your computer doesn't have any sound. So of course on laptops uh, the speakers are integrated within the laptop. If you have a desktop you might have outboard speakers. Even on a laptop maybe you've plugged outboard speakers. Make sure they are working. One of the biggest problems that I've seen as a tech guy is not anything to do with Windows or the computer, but the fact that the speakers aren't plugged in, aren't working anymore, something went wrong, maybe the cable that you plug it to the computer has a problem. So that's the first thing you should check it out. Then, if you are sure that these are working in Windows, you have different things that can happen with sound. One of the most common ones is that there are some proprietary drivers that require sometimes to have um, a tool. So what does that mean? It means that sometimes you have no sound, but you see that the speaker icon on the bottom right is there. And it says, oh, speakers are 100%, but you hear nothing. Well, there is a certain type of real tech device, and there are some audio devices also out there that require to have a special driver and software to have it working. Even though it says it's installed in the device manager, without the software installed, the sound doesn't come out. So if you have a branded computer, the first thing you should do, you know, an Acer and HP and Dell, Lenovo and so on, go to the manufacturer of your computer. Check for audio drivers. Often they will have a special audio driver with software that has the capability of having that sound actually finally work. Unfortunately, it's something that I, it shouldn't happen. It's something that should be there just with, you know, the, the regular driver that Windows has. But some, um, some audio devices require special software for it to work well. Now, you have no sound or maybe there's a X. Maybe you have your speaker doesn't have any, uh, you know, you don't have any audio there. It could have a little red X saying, well, there's no audio device on this computer. Well, what you'll want to do is right click on the start menu and go into the device manager. Make sure that in the device manager, the hardware for sound is actually working. So you'll have audio input and outputs. Here I've got speakers, Realtek audio. I've got my microphone, which is a USB microphone. Make sure these are working, that there's nothing wrong with them. Update the drivers. If the drivers are missing, you might need to go and check out drivers from your manufacturer of your device and install them manually. Maybe the drivers are missing. The other thing, there are two other places where you can check for sound in your computer. Uh, the first one is right click on the speaker icon and go into open sound settings. In here, you will have the different settings for the audio. So you have output devices, make sure that the proper output is used. Sometimes you have more than one output device. If there is, then you can click on this and there's gonna be a list. Maybe it's just the wrong output that's chosen. For example, if you have an HDMI cable and you have separate speakers, well, maybe the audio is sent to the HDMI for the TV or the monitor rather than to the uh, speakers. So these are things you need to look at. So you might have a list there. Same thing if it's something about the input devices. Make sure that you chose the input devices and that they are all right. The other thing you can check is manage sound devices. When clicking here, make sure that the devices you want are enabled. So whatever happens, make sure that they're not in the disabled section. That actually explains why you have no sound if it's in there. Also, you have the good old sound um, settings that also exist. So if you go into the search and you type control panel, you will have in the control panel, you know, the good old control panel that your um, Windows 7 or older Windows had is still there. And here, of course, you have sound. Make sure that you click here. Make sure that the devices here are okay. 
that the properties and configurations are okay and the recordings and everything. Make sure that it's not disabled from here. It should technically show up also on the other devices in the settings, but uh, you know, sometimes something can be going wrong here. So make sure that playback devices are okay. Make sure that in the properties, everything is all right and that the levels are okay, that everything looks okay in here. If you use spatial sound, there could be some reason why maybe you have no sound. Turn this off just to see if uh, maybe the sound will come back or be okay. So these are a few tips and tricks that hopefully will bring sound back to your PC. And um, you know what? If you can, if you have no sound off of your laptop, to make sure that your laptop speakers are not the problem. Uh, plug in an headset of some sort. Uh, you can plug in, you know, your your phone's headset into the output of the computer, and that that will work. Or if you have any USB or any outboard speakers, try them on your laptop. Maybe something's wrong with that. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching our videos.